And today I wanted to go over um, something pretty quick on Facebook, but something that I have seen as like the biggest um, uh, kind of uh, uh, oftentimes I've seen agents and our uh, kind of our offices get our ads rejected. And I wanted to show you guys what is the cause of it about 99.9 to 100% of the time. So that if you ever encounter this, uh, you know what to do, but also you can help your agents if you ever hear them uh, talk about it. So basically what it, it's when we're boosting posts, so to kind of take one giant step back, this is a test business page I have. I don't you know do anything with it besides use it for training. And um, when you post something to your page, literally you go, hey, here's a new listing and I post it, the people on my page, the, the followers I have, have the opportunity to see that post. So I'm trying to see if I can, people continue to follow this test page, even though I've told them not to. So there are 74 people who follow this page. So any of these posts, those 74 people have the capacity to see, right? You go on Facebook, you open your timeline or your newsfeed and you scroll, it could show up there. When you boost a post, it is one of those terms that um, there's a lot of well, there's a lot of different terms to mean the same thing. Boosting a post, um, sponsoring, advertising. What you're doing there is you're taking that post and making an advertisement out of it. You are targeting a specific audience. You are saying, "I want people in St. Augustine who have recently interacted with Zillow to see this post." So it's going to be people not just on your page. It will come up as an ad for them on social media. So when you're doing that, there's one key thing that has been screwing up. I've seen, uh, I've noticed a lot of our ads. So if you're going here, you know, let's just say this is the ad I want to do. I would not do this as an ad just because there's no text up here. There's no, you know, um, there's no copy to make this, you know, uh, 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 like attractive as an ad. But let, just for the sake of it, if I go down here to this blue button and click boost post, it's going to bring up the ad bubble, which is basically a, a few of the steps that I have to uh, go through in order to make an ad. Now, in general, I have stopped using this automatic goal. Um, I like to kind of choose one. So if I'm trying to get people to go look at my listing, click on this listing, I'm going to choose website visitors. I want to get more website visitors. That's that's my goal. I want people to click on the ad and look at the listing, the landing page, whatever. So I'm going to change it to get more website visitors. I'm going to change the button to say learn more just because it's a little bit more relevant. Um, so it'll say learn more there. And this right here is the key that I'm talking about, the special ad category. If you ignore this, I can guarantee you your ad will be rejected by Facebook. Uh, basically, because of the certain uh, uh, restrictions in advertising in, in real estate, you know, specifically, there uh, we have to mark a, that we are a housing-based ad and tell Facebook that, hey, this is real estate related, and then we're going to, and then we will play within our sandbox of rules. Because right now, if I don't check this, I can actually target a lot of people or, or exclude a lot of things that would go against fair housing, which obviously is not good uh, against our code of ethics, our, our laws, our, our, our rules, all within real estate. So what I have to do is go to the special ad category right here, toggle it on, and then when it, after I've toggled it on, I need to choose housing. So uh, that will change this audience section a bit, but again, this is the key. I cannot stress how many times I see an ad come, I, uh, an email come through that says my ad was rejected. It is because we have not turned this on for our offices and for uh, any of our agents who run ads. Now, uh, one question I get about this specifically is, okay, does every ad that I do need to be this? Meaning, okay, well, this is not for a specific listing. This is for some sort of event that our office is hosting, or this is for a, you know, a home evaluation or something like that, where it's not for a, a listing. It is for something kind of within the realm, but not directly a property? The answer is yes, we still have to turn this on. Um, it, it's basically, it says ads for real estate listings, insurance, mortgage loans, or other related opportunities. So basically anything within the real estate realm needs to be checked for housing. Um, there's, It's kind of a catch-all, so any ad that we do, the only time I've ever been able to run an ad 
without this special ad category is when we were promoting our Homes for Dogs event because that fell more into a community event. It was more of like we were sponsoring it, but it had truly nothing to do with real estate or anything related to those services. Other than that one time, every single ad that I run myself or our offices or our digital marketers, we have to turn the special ad category on and choose housing. Um, I know I'm really hammering that point home, but it's because, I mean, I, I'd say at least three or four times a week, I still get the little rejection email. So turn this on, choose housing, then you can choose your audience and then your, your duration and budget. Now, once you've turned this on, you don't have to worry about targeting things that um, go against the rules because Facebook basically filters that out. So once this is on, if I go to edit my audience here, anything that comes up under detailed targeting, this entire uh, list right here, I can choose any of these categories and be absolutely fine. It, it's only it's only if we don't check that box that things uh, are, are uh, an issue. And you can see there are a bunch of real estate uh, related topics right there, or right here, realtor.com, rent.com for renters, if we're trying to target renters and you know into, into properties. Um, there are literally, I think probably hundreds of, of categories here, if, if not at least 100 or 200 categories here. So you can pick the detailed targeting. I like to stick with people who have recently interacted with Zillow because if they're inter interacting with Zillow, they're probably interested in real estate in some degree. And then of course, just real estate as a whole, as a, as a category. Those two targets do a pretty good job. Um, you can add more, you can add more locations, anything like that. Then you can just save your audience, budget duration, how much are you gonna spend, how long do you wanna run it for. Um, the minimum on Facebook is a dollar a day, but the more, you know, my cop-out answer to everybody is the more you spend, the more people you're gonna reach. It's as simple as that. If I spend $50 and you spend 10, I'm going to reach five times as many people. Um, and then you simply click boost post now. It will go into basically a little Facebook review. And then normally within an hour to two or three hours, you'll get a little alert that says your ad has been approved. Your ad is now, you know, is now running. Um, so, and then while your ad is running, I'll actually show you while your ad is, is active, you can see the live results of that ad as it's happening. So right, this is an ad for the uh, Luxury Home of the Week that's running right now. I can see right here underneath it that it finishes in 12 days, but I can also click on the view results and see how it is currently performing. Uh, at any point during an ad campaign, you can see how it's performing. And then once the ad is done, you can also see that information underneath the ad as well. So I scroll down here. Um, and I can see it says completed right here, and then I can view the results.